to the glute bridge, also known as the hip extension on the floor exercise. Here we're gonna take you through the setup and then performing the movement and little tips and how to progress. So number one, setting yourself up for this exercise. Start from the feet, heels on the floor. You'll notice with Petra, her shins are in front of her knees. We actually don't wanna bring the heels too close because then what can tend to happen is people feel load through their knees. So bring the feet further in front. Um, some of you will find it further in front more ideal. Some will find it a little bit closer. It's a personal preference, just not directly underneath. Then from there, you're going to press your shoulders into the ground, maybe even lengthen the neck out. So you've got your shoulders and your heels as the anchor points for the movement. Press both down, even press your arms down. So you're gonna fight someone, that's gonna engage your lats in a stable, and then drive your hips up and down, touch back up. Good, so Petra's gonna keep doing that as we talk about the little tips. So tip here is to make sure you're constantly pushing the shoulders down and the arms down. If you can do it with a friend, you can have some fun here where they resist each other and press. Now, if you're wanting to get more out of the glute med, that's the muscle on the side here, then you can get a band, put it around your knees and have the knees push out slightly at the top. It's known as abduction. So you're pushing the knees outwards as you drive up and as you come down, the knees will slightly come in. So that is banded abduction with glute bridge. Now, the progression to this, so number three is bring your feet together Come in, come in, bring your right knee to your chest. This will stop you from tucking the pelvis as you drive up and then drive up here. Now, the only disadvantage here, down and up, is when you're doing this movement, you might be hyperextending in your back. When you go to doing single leg, you actually have less range. However, you're actually just doing the movement correctly. So, feet back down. So when you're doing this, make sure to check your shoulders, your hips are in line. Now, a little thing you can do here is go into anterior pelvic tilt. What does that mean? It just means your two hip bones, so little tip, put your fingertips on your hip bones to give you feedback. They're the two hard marks or the bony landmarks. Now if you push those hip bones away from you, so towards the feet, so that's posterior where they come towards you, go the opposite way. So they go all the way forward, that's anterior. Pull it all the way in, that's posterior go all the way out, that's anterior. Now when you go into posterior, you will feel your glutes more, don't stay there. You wanna move hips back and forth and find the middle, it's called neutral, that's where we wanna be. Then drive the hips up and down. Now, using those thumbs to give you that feedback, still push the shoulders down and the elbows down, but just use the hands for feedback. Once you feel confident here, then press the arms back down, so you're working the whole back and then hinging from the hips. And that is how you work the glute bridge.